Right, just a very short video because I only brought one video out today, one camera, and that wasn't fully charged. Anyway, I'm down at um, Wood Spring Priory area. I noticed the gate was open down to where the old pier used to be here, the MOD place. I met a very interesting bloke a minute ago from something England, and um, he was just showing me this piece of coral or reef stuff that he found to do with tube worms. This honeycomb tube worm attachment he showed me. He said, which aren't that common. I was telling him all about the pier, all about the priory and everything round here. But I've been here when this was a pier here where there are pillars going out from here out to there. There are pillars and you could walk out. I've been I've walked everywhere around here. The gate was open. Half the fences were down, so... But they have got lifeboat men practising on the hovercraft today. So it's quite possible that they... have got the gate open, ready for picking up the hovercraft. So I've managed to sneak in. To do a very short video. That thumping you can hear is something they're doing up there. Somebody thought it was fracking. Others thought, think it's Somerset defences near the River Banwell. They've been there for months. Maybe we are going to get a rise in the tide and it would come up the Banwell, wouldn't it? Affects everything. Now, I've been videoing this place for several years now. I've been out here when there's been buildings on here. All gone now, all taken down. Once the MOD place. That mound there, I think there's still something inside that. And there was the rifle range. <laughs> there's like a beach landing area up here. Which the yeah, lifeboat people probably do use. Right, I've got to turn off for a minute. Right, I'm down the end bit. Typical, I've only brought this one camera half done as well, isn't it? Typical. Next time, I, could, I was in here just over a couple of weeks ago and all this was fenced right off. You couldn't get in here at all. Not unless you came down the side there, through there. Big cables used to run down through here. Big blue cables going under the sea that way in the past. And I'm going to walk now where I didn't walk before. Well, like I said, this is typical that my camera... I just didn't think of bringing two cameras, which I normally do, of course. But not today. <laughs> right, I've never been down this bit. I'll have to come back now. I've seen this. Yeah, so those big pillar things, that's where the cables were attached that would come off the top and be clipped on there all the way down and then run along that rail there. I'm not quite sure what those hangers were for, those frames there. Right here we've got fishermen out there. This would have been some sort of building, I would imagine, here. I'm just going to walk down these steps. I'll turn off in a minute in case the camera goes off. And I lose all this. So there we go. I'll just turn off and come straight back on. Right, I've come straight back on just so that I don't lose anything I've just talked about. Here we've got all the volcanic activity from the past showing. Got men out there fishing. We've got Clevedon right over there, sunny in the distance. White buildings. I won't put it on zoom, the battery will go quicker now. This is all natural yacht, yacht, uh, rock. Good defence, isn't it? Something's been carved out of it here. And here we are up close to one of these pillars where the cable would run through here. 
there would be something holding it in place. I've never been down here before. I never ventured that far. It's very slippery. You wouldn't want to bang your head and then the tide gets you, would you? Oh, very slippery. Hold on, chill. Oh, bang your head, girl. Very, very slippery. I've got to go back up it yet. I was just going to be careful because that was very slippery back there, that green algae stuff. So here we are. And apparently, you've got to be careful on this beach because of explosive devices and sharp objects, they say. There's a bit of cable there coming out of somewhere. Look. It'd be very tricky to go too far down because that seaweed would be really, really slippery. So I'll just go down a little bit, down this little slipway. There's a little pillar there. See? A completely different view. I've never seen this view before. I'm going to stop again in a minute. I'll join all these together. Yeah, it will be very, very dodgy to walk on the seaweed, I would have thought. Wow. Over and out for a minute. Right, short video. They've come out here. Seems quite firm the beach here. Can't see no obstacles sticking up. I have seen somebody else's footprints, that's reassuring. The tide's probably coming in in a minute. There's a lot of activity going up there near the mound, near Scallop Bay. Lots and lots of... There's gazebos up, there's lots of like farmers' trucks. And there's a funny object. Right on the beach, I've seen it for years, this thing here with holes in it. I wonder if it's some sort of launch pad. And then you've got other things with the these cradles, these um, frames. They seem to have the blue wires going in that I talked about, and some of the blue wires are coming out. But anyway, I've come down from up there. There's Cleveland in the background there. I'm just going to stop a minute in case the battery suddenly goes. I'll come straight back on. It's a precaution. So I wouldn't want to, I don't know how often I'd be able to get down here. I didn't realise it was this firm, the ground underneath. I'm not going to get, it looks a bit boggy around there, so I won't get too close to that. Although I can see footprints once again. These frames held something once. I'd have to, I don't know where you find that sort of information out. There we go, there's um. St. Thomas Point area. Now there are fishermen further over. And I think the tide is coming in. There's some pillars there that are gradually sinking. So sometimes water can come underneath you. So there's these structures. You know what I mean? There's some sort of thing actually going up the like a grip of some sort going up there, like that. Just going to stop and take a picture of myself while I'm here a minute with these machines. Over and out. Right, now, I, now I've um, taken a few photos and I'm doing another video. You can see how fast the tide is coming in now. There's a metal pipe there sticking up. And you can see from there, if you home in on that, you can see how fast that river ocean is coming in. It's coming in very, very fast now. Because there were some structures I could see even more and they one's gone already. So this will be covered soon here. It's lapping. So I'm going to start making my way back now. But I can imagine... I can imagine... 
Yeah, see, see how it's coming in behind? See that? How it, can you see? This is it's called a swan neck. Can you see how the water at the sea is also coming in behind me? See? It's filling up. And it could this could all be underwater before that hump there disappears. It's coming in very fast indeed. Yeah, it's coming in very fast. Oh, I'm going to go back up the slipway now. Someone else's footprint there, look. Yeah, look how deep look, that went down a long way. Yeah, this could become quick mud very quickly. Oh, I'm going to get back over. That happens. Just notice, I remember that about Swan Neck, how water can come in behind you. Say you were over there, before you know it, this is all water. God, it's coming in real quick now. It's interesting, isn't it? I can see somebody over there. Somebody has already spotted me, look. There's a lot of people about today though, there's lots of um, there's a lot of activity going on and I've only brought the one bloody camera which is half empty. Typical isn't it? Do you know what, I never go out without backup normally. An opportunity, might they might put the fencing back up, you see, because the sheep have got in. And that bloke up there might be going to tell me off in a minute. I've got no idea. No idea. Right then everyone, what I'm going to do is um, turn off just in case I want to take any photos as this becomes covered in water very soon I would think. So we were lucky doing that weren't we? Over and out.